this has got to be like the fifth or sixth, no, it's got to be like the tenth actually take I've done on this video. In Reno Abortion, uh, did a video about how women who are the victims of rape, who have had children, can just keep the kid. It'll pan out alright. And I've got to say, it's the biggest load of crap I've ever seen in my life. We live in a society where unwanted pregnancies and unplanned pregnancies are a, a social death sentence. They're an economic vice around your neck. And if you and you had some back and forth with me in the comments section, where I basically said, um, where you basically said that they're immature sluts who were spending all the money they should be spending on bringing up the kids which they didn't want on themselves. You know, they want luxury goods, they want cars. I don't know where you do your protesting advocacy, and I'm in favour of you protesting and have, being an advocate for whatever you want. However, let me tell you something, son, and I'm assuming you're a guy. Let me tell you something, son. You ain't gonna get that perfect world you want. Let's say tomorrow you ban abortion worldwide. Not another abortion clinic is opened. All the existing ones are closed. You can have all the other clinical services. You have the minute somebody talks about doing a clinical abortion, they're thrown in jail, and the jail throws them to the wolves. Okay, let's, let's say you do that. Worldwide. Nobody on the planet can get a clinical abortion in any legally recognized place. Do you think that stopped people before? Because I guarantee you something, son. There were abortions of for a very long time in different ways. Sometimes it was chemical using certain plants. Sometimes it was using surgical tools or whatever you could improvise vis-a-vis -a, -vis a coat hanger. And sometimes it was a set of stairs with a rolling pin or you know, having an accident or putting your body through enough shock uh, that it loses the child. So let me tell you something. If you want a world without abortion, you damn well better give women a society where an unexpected child is a blessing. Or at the very, very least is reasonably easy to manage. And if you're the sort of guy, and I d I'm assuming you're a guy, who rails against welfare mothers and rails and is in favor of abstinence-only education, well, here's some bad news for you. Those two concepts there are going to see, see you lose the battle right from the get-go. You've already lost before you've begun. Because if you only advocate abstinence, a lot of those kids who grew up with abstinence-only education don't know how to get pregnant in the first place, and they're all shocked when they don't know, um, you know, how much effort it, or how little effort it can take to get a woman pregnant sometimes. They don't know. And then they're like, well, nobody told me. So, I'm just going to tell you. It is... Probably the best thing that I can do for you to tell you. You're not going to win this one the way you're doing it. You've got to be willing to redesign society so that this alternative, which you don't like, is not an option. Or, I should put it, that it's such a stupid, redundant, counterproductive option that nobody wants it. And until you get that, until you educate, enlighten, and empower the men and women who would be involved in counseling, comforting, or constructing for others in this situation, guess what? You're not going to have it. I'm Ozzy Griffin, and you've got to take a good hard look at yourself and see why what you think is going to work in the long run. Because I guarantee you, hacking at the branches of a problem doesn't do you anywhere near as much good as striking at the root.